And now there's another weird moment with Callan this week where he got in a fight with our very own Sam Tripoli. Let's cut to that. This is great. Maui, wowie, Callan. Something is up here. He's having an identity crisis. Okay, so we got to make something clear. And, you know, we've got some great Tripoli stuff here. Uh, some red bar is watching people went out to the Sam Tripoli show a week or two ago. And they yelled, red bar is watching Sam should I just read their account? Do we have their account? Yeah. Let's read the account here. Um, because Sam is a very dangerous person. Let's see. The Sam Tripoli spy report. Okay, let's see this. Hi, Mike. My name is Ethan. Me and my wife, Chelsea, went to the Sam Tripoli show in Buffalo, New York last night with the sole intention of doing a pry report. <laughs> Risk takers. You know, these are adventure seekers. A guy and his wife going to Sam Tripoli, the most dangerous comedian of all. And we were going to do a pry report. Things got a little crazy. I apologize if this is a long email, but we lost the tapes. So I'll have to just say what happened last night. We entered the club separately so as not to be seated together. You and your wife. Well. We were both sat alone on opposite sides of the room. The plan was simple. Wait five minutes into Sam's set. My wife would start filming and I would do the pry. Opener was terrible. One of his co-hosts on the podcast that bombed very hard. I didn't laugh once. I paid for my two drink minimum with cash immediately so as not to worry about the uh, erroneous credit card charges. Good move. Wow. <laughs> Sam takes the stage, and I give him a few minutes to settle in. Some jokes are landing, but most are fail falling flat, so much so that Sam has to mention it a couple of times, saying, ooh, it's a little quiet in here on that one, etc. I give my wife, I, um, let's see, where was I? I give my wife the I, signal. I give my wife the signal and I stand up. I'm about four rows behind the front and I yell, Hey, Sam, Red Bar's watching. And immediately begin to exit the showroom. Smart move. Run. <laughs> Sam's only tactic while I was there was to do the black guy getting arrested repeat thing, <laughs> saying, There he is. Go on. Go on. Go on. There he is. Go on. I didn't respond to him. I just smiled and calmly exited, leaving my wife to gather the tapes. He was apparently put off by my activities because he kept referencing it throughout the rest of his set. How I'm a nerd, how I'm autistic, etc. Unfortunately, my wife got so enraged by him that she couldn't just sit with getting the tapes. She had to say something to him. So the plan evolved. She would get in the meet and greet line for a second dose of heckling. Oh my God. You let your wife do this to Sam Tripoli to go up to his face? This is crazy. She waited in line patiently behind a couple that was very interested in finding this mustachio disruptor that they were calling me. But I was calmly waiting in the car for my <laughs> wife to finish her business. As soon as she got her video out and stood next to Sam, she whispered, Red Bar's watching Sam. Whoa! That's when he snapped. He shoved her. He took her phone from the patio where the meet and greet was, and he ran back inside the club with security between her and him. He immediately deleted all the tapes on her phone that she got, going as far as to delete the trash folder as well. My God. Only one short tape remains. I will attach that here. My wife somehow got past the old black security man, Kevin, and approached the madman herself. He was yelling that he would punch her in the face, break her phone, all sorts of insanity. The man needs to be stopped. Needless to say, we had no choice but to press full harassment charges on Sam. With the help of the Buffalo police and the manager at Helium Buffalo, he was more on our side than Sam's. When we receive the police report, I'll definitely send that to you for the time capsule. The police were nice, 
but they said that they couldn't do much about the deleting of the videos. But they're starting a full harassment investigation (laughs) using all the camera footage from the club, as well as our testimonies and those that witnessed the event. Overall, we had a lot of laughs, a little scary for a minute, but the threat in the BBG, the Leo Dominique, made us laugh so much. You guys are just the best. Shout outs to Hecklers, <laughs> shout outs to the Scars Club, and many of the fools who never stop making errors. Enjoy the last remaining tape. This was after my exit. So let's see. Here is just uh, the only remaining footage that he has. Let's see what this is. Just after his exit here. Sam Tripoli, never before seen tape. Has anyone seen this? Is this posted? Jules? I'm not sure. I don't not sure. So. Let's check it out. There's Sam. Yeah, this is going to get scary. Yo, this set has been painful. Okay, we're gonna go. bounce. We're gonna bounce. Okay. Red bars watching. Oh. oh. And there's like 35 people here. Tell diaper boy. What? And then it ends. That's the only tape we have. Oh my god! That was from that guy. That's pretty good. Uh, unless I'm. How did he playing miss? the wrong? Oh wait, that could be our second prize tape. Yes, this is the second. Pri- wait, so what video did he have? Wait, click the second video. Let's see the second. Maybe they're just out of order here. Because two people showed up to troll him. One at the early show. One at the late show. They didn't even know this till after. I think this is the guy's video. We just watched the I second one. I think he one. was talking about the first. Let's see. Oh, here's just a clip from the bed. So here's the show. You can see lots of empty seats. That's all he was trying to So this was the first pride. The guy who got his wife, the phone taken from her. He's threatening to punch her in the face. He deleted the video. So this is the only video we have from the first guy. This video that I just showed you is from the next show. Another listener showed up to pry. This was his tape. So this was not the first guy. So the second guy says, hey, I went to the Tripoli show tonight at 10. There was another spy there at 730, but I guess most of their tapes were forcibly deleted by Tripoli or his crew. Here's my tape from the 10 o'clock show, but they were on high alert for Heckler, so this is what I got. I wish it was better, but it's not too bad. Sorry we didn't get to the end. We didn't hear what he's saying. Security swarmed us as soon as I stood up. So here that is again. Sam got the red bars watching from the wife twice. She went in line at the meet and greet. The police come. And then the second show, he's sitting there, and this happens. Oh my God, so he's even talking about it. He's going, some midget from the last show started talking shit. Imagine his surprise when another guy stands up and does it again. Let's see. This is incredible. Yo, this set has been painful. Okay, we're gonna bounce. We're gonna bounce. Okay. Red bars watching. <laughs> oh. Oh. Right after he said red bars. Tell me what. We'll never know. <laughs> However, there was Wait, a right very... After the guy said, Red Bar's watching. Didn't Sam go, oh, my God. Like, he had, like... He couldn't, yeah. Reaction. He couldn't believe it, that it was happening again. So, here's what we're saying. You gotta be careful at these... Sam- this is in. 
You don't bring your wife out to a Sam Tripley show. I mean, that's... And your wife was a total badass. I mean, she sounds amazing. You guys cannot be bringing your wives out to do this. I mean, this is a job fit for very few men. Uh, We cannot be telling you to go out and do that. You're going to get yourself killed by this guy. I feel like we can't really recommend going to Sam Tripley shows anymore because... It's just too scary. He's like a criminal mastermind. We say nothing. (laughs) Uh, Here is, so Sam Tripoli then started getting trolled a little bit on Twitter about this. Not really trolled, just people trying to get into his comments and say stuff. Someone goes, I remember the red bar guy crying like a bitch when Sam Tripoli showed up to his apartment. Oh, yeah. And Sam says, next stop is the studio. Then the doctor's office. So we've been boarded. I mean, we're not going to the doctor's office. So uh, please be very careful. And yes, if we've been practicing uh, opening the door back to back, each with a gun going like this. Yeah. I mean, we've got a lot of security measures that we've been uh, taking part of, such as hiring some security guards to stand out front, um, building some sort of Draw a bridge, a hole in the floor that Sam drops through. Uh, we're going to move the studio inside one of Mr. Beast's $100,000 save. Um, Jules and Mike both armed, standing back to back is one of our plans. Tasers. Um, a bunch of guys with arrows. Um, bulletproof suits, helmets. Hundreds of decoys. To run around and distract Sam and on-site hospital with staff. Um, so, yeah, if anything happens to me, it was Sam Tripoli. The doctor's office. That sounds like it's one of your errands, though, that he'll be. All right. Next up is the studio, then the doctor's <laughs> office, because he has an appointment. Okay, Sam Tripoli is nuts, guys. Be careful around Sam. But Sam might end in, uh, end up in a lot of trouble. Not from us. We don't we don't work around the cops. We don't do stuff like that. You know, we just survive. You know, we just <laughs> try to live another day. With we him try to live tail. another day. We try to survive. We don't care about that kind of stuff. I, however, I will make it perfectly clear. You know, just like you saw with Logan Paul, we are not okay with Sam hurting us. Just to make that perfectly clear. <laughs> We're not saying that he should come and do that. Um, but Brian Callen and Sam Tripoli got in a big blowout fight on the Tinfoil Hat podcast. Because Tripoli is starting to do the Alex Jones. He's starting to say that the Miami fire or the uh, Maui fires in Hawaii. Have you heard of these Maui fires? They're burning down Jules' childhood uh, place to visit. He's claiming that it's a conspiracy. These are actors and it's the government or the state, the police burning the people. And Callan gets very worried about this because, of course, Alex Jones sued for one billion. So Callan doesn't want to be the next one. But there's something else going on here. And maybe you guys could help me because I'm not in the weeds with all this stuff. Why would it almost seems like Callan and you'll see in this clip, it almost seems like Callan is afraid of the police. Right? Kind Did he do I mean, something with Crowder? Let's go to 4540. We'll show you the tape. Some people saw this. There was a teaser where they had it on the golden hour with Brendan Chobb and Chris D'Elia where they came running in from apparently the golden hour tapes their podcast on the opposite side of the wall in the same office that this tapes. You know, they're all crammed into these very small office spaces. You can probably start it at like... uh, 51? 51 minutes. 51 minutes. the whole first part is Sam saying all this stuff about how it was lasers. You can imagine it. Yeah, basically just saying that the fires were, you know, committed by a person. It's a conspiracy. he's showing... I don't know if you want to show the TikTok, but he's... Oh, you're wearing the fight like Hell Sure, the, the Heather version here. The reverse Heather. 
Wow, he got you all stocked up, huh, with gear wearing the Fight Like Hell Crowder shirt on your Sam Tripoli show. Well, let's see what's up with Brian, because this is a weird one here. Why did Brian get so mad about this? Let's find Maybe out. You can go back a little bit. Sam is Tell showing. Me when. What time are you at right now? I'm at 51. Yeah, so he's showing him this TikTok that's about how the fire chief in Maui was the same as, like, the chief of police during the Vegas shooting yeah. or whatever, and explaining how that's the conspiracy. So that's okay. what this is about. All right. The chief and a deputy chief of police to bypass the Hawaii residence requirement of one year. So this okay. Is already a Stop it. Okay, here's my problem, guys. And you have to be, I'm, I mean, this is a real problem. So now you guys are fucking, all you conspiracy guys are putting this fucking dude on blast. And you uh -oh. don't know for real. So what you're doing right now, hold on. Is you're, you're taking all you guys. Look are, at Sam's way. That was a perfect triple A. You don't on. know for real. So what you're doing right now, hold on. Look at what is your you're taking look at this guy. <laughs> this is the guy who's after us? I mean, he's so scary. Please, everybody stay safe out there. Well, I mean, he does have the body of a grandpa. There's that. I mean, that's like a full grandpa. He's like an insatiable dog, though. Like, yeah, that's true. Will stop him. Like, he doesn't realize he's. You can shoot it. Like, he will he make you shoot him. Which <laughs> I hope you understand. Nobody wants to do that. So it's not like, oh, well, he comes and you just shoot him. I can't be shooting you. <laughs> Please. Just please stop. You know how much paperwork would be involved in me shooting you? And I'm not going to kill you. And so I'll shoot you in the leg everybody... and then you'll lie and then I'll be in all sorts of trouble for shooting. Just so everybody has some perspective, this is over a college style prank where someone yells red bars red watching, bars watching. And that's it. Just so you know. So here he is. Look at him. He's flight. really deranged. Look at his body. I mean, that is full grandpa. <laughs> okay, so watch. Brian's getting really heated here. I won't interrupt. Dude, on blast, and you don't know for real. So what you're doing right now? Hold on, is you're you're taking all you guys are taking this chief of this chief of the emergency response, and you're trying to ruin his fucking life. What are you with all your oh rumors? My God, and Brian. it's irresponsible. Brian, it's did, irresponsible. Brian, did you say what is the worst take I could take on this video? So what are you doing? Is that what you did? So what are you doing? You're doing the same. You're doing the same thing with this guy Ray Epps. Decimal you guys did the same shit with Ray Epps in the old library. You did the same shit with Ray Epps. You're doing the same shit with this. Because Ray Epps is a Fed. That's he just got arrested. Ray Epps is a Fed. He just got arrested. Sam. He's a Fed, bro. He got arrested. Yeah, because okay? he's a Fed. No, he's not a Fed. He's a Fed. No, he's not. He, he got is arrested. A fed. Brian, do you understand what that is? What have you got so yourself in there, Brian? I'm not going to do this because I think. So you got this on one side, and you go to Christian Crowder's Church of Papa over there. You're, you must be in a living hell. You got to go fake be a Christian conservative <laughs> with Crowder. Then you come over here with Sam Tripoli, where he's saying that the chief of police killed all the people in Maui. I mean, what a life you've created for yourself here, Mr. Callie. Brian, do you understand what that is? The this is so irresponsible. I'm not going to do this because I think it's irresponsible and you're fucking putting this guy on blast and he's getting his life fucking harassed by a bunch of idiots who don't know anything. Oh, okay? Brian. And it's oh, irresponsible. So, 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 so let me get this straight. The so, the fucking chief, so wait, the chief of response, he started the fires. So the chief of response started the fires and he's a murderer and that's why, and he killed the secretary. This is how I felt when they were claiming Bush was responsible for 9-11. I fucking flipped when they said that. <laughs> so I feel Brian's rage. <laughs> this is how I acted when they claimed that Bush was... What do you care about some stupid cop? I, I don't understand. Well, that's what I'm trying to figure out. Is he part hour. of the fraternal order of police now? Does he have the decal? Is the so the fucking chief. So wait, the chief of response. He started the fires. Let him go, let so the him chief go. of response started the fires, and he's a murderer, and that's why. And he killed the secretary. Fucking bullshit, Sam. Not cool when you do that to someone. Brian, do you, you know, know that anything. he told people they couldn't leave? Shut, shut the. I'm not Brian, doing that. No, I'm, I'm gonna walk off. You, if we're gonna do this, I'm gonna walk, walk off. off. Fuck off, Brian. Fuck off. Because off. we're in all the you guys start now. So you're gonna dox him. Evil. So now this guy's gonna walk around and Brian, he's gonna ruin his fucking life. We're good versus evil right now. Sam, Sam, Brian. you don't know this guy. Brian. You don't know the fucking details. This, and this I'm on the Evo side, and they're good. Imagine how scary that would be. Imagine if this guy's number one goal is to come and get you. I mean, scares me to death. That's scary. I mean, you know. 
is where your bullshit. To this is come. where your bullshit and all your fucking people go after one guy and ruin his all life. Your fucking so so people. you're going after this guy. So like, yeah. He already fucked up. Brian, he might have been just shitty at his Brian, job. How about that? Brian, but now you guys are tying in the Brian, fucking Vegas shooting fight. with this guy, and he's yeah. responsible for the Vegas shooting and yeah. this. No. And let's go after him. It's fucking retarded shit. Okay. You should you should not yeah, do this. Yeah, Brian, Sam. this is where I no, draw the line. Sam, and if Brian Sam. says to you, I'm not going to do it. If you guys are going to, I'm going to. Okay. Leave. No, bye, bye. No, we're not doing it. We're, we're not, not doing it. If you're going to talk about this, bye. I'm gonna if we're going to bring so this guy serious. up, I'm going to leave. We're not doing no, it. No, it's serious. It is serious. Sam, I do care. It is Sam, serious. Because Sam. you ruin you ruin people's lives. No. Okay. All you no. fucking assholes no. ruin okay. people's all right, lives. All right. If you cut, if it's you fucking don't I'm put not, this out, I'm not not I will putting it out. Lose my yeah, because you want to gang up on somebody. You don't even know what about this guy. You want to ruin his life. You want to ruin this guy's life. Do you know much about this guy? You don't know shit about this guy. Can we take No, you fucking guys want to fucking. Brian, no. no, no, dude. You're no. going after this guy. You don't know yeah. shit about this yeah, guy. Brian, I, uh, Do you know about this guy? About? So you think this guy should be in jail? He's a fucking murderer? No, Brian, That's I what you're saying. Ask questions. Bullshit. What happened you're here, saying Brian. he's a murderer, I'm Sam. Asking, he's got kids. I'm it's saying, fucked up. I, I'm saying wow. No, you guys Brian, ruin people's you know lives with this kids? bullshit. People wow. lost their kids. Oh, That's the question So he's responsible? Brian, no, but we're asking questions. He's working for the government? No, you're not asking questions. No, you're not. Why did this guy tell people they couldn't leave? Who the fuck knows, Sam? He did the cops up. not because let it's a, people it's a leave? Shut the fuck up. No, it's this loud, guy right? is ha having a, a fucking <laughs> Brian. Sorry, is cro Brian? No, is that because Bri yeah, oh, is that Brendan Schaub walking in from the other room I saying you guys got to shut the fuck up? I think so. Then they're telling on each other. Brian, sorry, is cro Brian? No, because that cro cause Brian, the Yeah, one hundred percent. I'm not doing this. Okay, bye. <laughs> Have a great day. No, Brian. No, because you're, you're doxing somebody? No, you're Brian. We're asking questions because people died, Brian. Sure we're for asking a bell. questions because people sure died. Sure for a bell. <laughs> Let's get this clip to the families who lost their families. And, by the way, they've been seeing this. They've been going after Sam. The families are, are starting to see this. They're starting to get hurt by his words. And they know now, hey, this is kind of good. You know, when somebody claims that this was all set up, we might get a piece of money here. So let's encourage those families to press those charges! <laughs> that, that guy killed. That guy killed. So, so, so shop. Okay, all right, all right. All right, guys, this has been Conspiracy Social Club. This has been the best episode ever, bro. A few moments later. Okay. Brian comes back. Uh, they kind of fight out a little bit Look more. Look at this guy. Zoom in on the guy that is after us. Look at this guy here. It's like the scariest image. He bites. He scratches. And look at his body. His body, too, is like Michael Myers oh, or something, too. Hands imagine these legs coming towards you. He looks like one of Janko's family members. Okay, well, that was that for them. Great stuff. Holy. What was Brian so mad about this? I think Brian's more mad at himself that he's, you know, cooked up mess. with all these guys, right? And he's in this mess. All right, we'll take a break. We'll be back with more. We'll see you soon on Red Bar. <laughs>